Welcome back! This is episode 53 of Royally Rumbled's 2008 Universe Mode. We are your hosts. My name is Jordan. I'm Robert, and we are live in beautiful Alamogordo, New Mexico. The WWE Tag Team Championship Invitational rolls on as we determine a number one contender for the Hart Dynasty at Judgment Day. That's right, and in the main event, we've got The Big Show taking on Rob Van Dam. But first, the most valuable player and former Raw superstar, Montel Vontavious Porter, MVP. That's right. MVP is here on Friday nights in a wrestling capacity, finally. About time. But hey, when you are the most valuable player, you make your own rules. That's true. And MVP has been known to do what he wants. Uh, We've seen some huge victories from him uh, fairly recently over John Cena, no less. Huge match. Huge match. You know, new Raw superstar, John Cena. That's right. What a match that was on Raw, but let's not rehash that because we are here on Friday night and we like to... Didn't JBL say we like to fight on Friday night? We do like to fight on Fridays, and MVP is certainly here to fight. This is a match that has been brewing for quite a while, uh, ever since MVP had his opponent as a guest on the VIP lounge. That's right. And making his return to SmackDown since... Uh, The Royal Rumble match, Booker T is here in WWE 2K22. It's great to see Booker T in this game. Very excited to see what goes down. Now, you're right. This is the first time that we've seen Booker since the Royal Rumble. Yeah, he lost his match in a fantastic two out of three falls contest against Shawn Michaels Uh, that was like winner take all the end of the feud and Booker T is now at the back of the line for a championship match so it would be huge here for MVP to get a win over Booker Uh, look really great on his already exquisite resume well I'm paying MVP a lot of money to be here tonight Definitely not Mike Kyoto rings the bell, and we're off to the races. Here we go, Booker T versus MVP. Booker T firing out and opening up really quick, slamming MVP around. Oh, nice kick to the side of the head there, and Booker T continuing to lay into MVP. Oh, MVP fires out. Montel Vontavious Porter now. Power bomb. And obviously Booker T, former two-time WWE champion already in our universe. So MVP really can uh, make a name for himself on SmackDown after negotiating that new contract. And there we go. Well, MVP seems to have shifted into another gear as he drops a headbutt on the former WWE Champion and goes for a pin. Just one. Definitely not Mike Kyoto right on top of that one. The SmackDown exclusive referee calling the action right down the middle as MVP mounts Booker. (laughs) Oh, what a swing and a miss from Booker. Houston versus Miami. And representing the 305, (laughs) but he gets tripped up. Maybe we'll see a Houston hangover. Uh Uh-oh. Spinner Rooney time. No. Booker T just teasing us with it. 
Locks in the submission hold. MVP right in the middle of the ring. Booker trying to wear down his opponent. Of course, the damage from that two out of three falls match. Booker, of course, competing inside that Hell in a Cell as well. Back at Armageddon, where he oh. lost the WWE Championship. And Booker really hasn't been the same since that match. Booker just trying to find some answers. But MVP might change the questions. Here we go. Rebound off the rope. Ballin! Playmaker's elbow. Cover. Shoulders One, down. Is it enough? Two. Wow. Booker T kicks out. MVP definitely thought he had him there. Booker T not going to give up just yet. He's got too much to prove. Punch to the face, but MVP uh -oh. now. Draw. Drive by. That's got to be it. MVP. Cover. One. One two. two three. three. Oh, my God. MVP. Huge victory over Booker T. Statement win from Montel Vontavious Porter. And he looks fantastic here in He's 2008. He's shot it right into the title picture. <laughs> I mean, we'll see what happens. Uh, we have a SmackDown exclusive pay-per-view coming up. What does the future hold for MVP? But up first... Oh! We have a triple threat match. And this one, I am very much looking forward to the princess of the heart dungeon natalia making her way to the ring obviously obviously these three women in this triple threat will be in the title match at judgment day uh with melina so we'll get to see which one of them carries the most momentum uh going forward Natalia, the Queen of Hearts, making her way to the ring. She picked up a huge win against Melina, the champion, a few weeks ago. And now tonight looks to cement that win. And then we've got Victoria, of course, the former Divas champion, the only woman who was able to unseat Melina and take that right. crown from her. Now, Melina obviously able to win it back, but uh, what a run Melina has been on that Victoria is the only woman to have stopped her reign. Yeah, and of course, picking up a huge win last week against the champion in dominant fashion, hitting two Widow's Peaks, finally enough to put Molina away. But will that be the scene in just two weeks at Judgment Day? Now, in this match, I'd say Victoria's probably the easy pick. And then I read who their opponent was. It is the Glamazon, Beth Phoenix. Beth Phoenix returning to SmackDown after a long absence just a few weeks ago, directly before the Royal Rumble, where uh, Victoria brought out Beth Phoenix as a surprise opponent for Melina. Beth, of course, having a series of classic matches with Melina over the championship at the start of our universe. Yeah, I was going to say Beth, a former Divas champion in her own right in our 2008 universe. Uh, so this triple threat promises to uh, to hit, as the kids would say. Slap, if you will. Well, all three of these competitors are ready. And we're going to ring Here the bell. Go. You know the Divas champion, Melina, is sitting there watching in the back, checking out, scouting her competition. As Natalia Natty. hits that double arm <laughs> underhook suplex. She was like, let me get Victoria out of the way so I can handle big business with Beth. Here we go. Natty's got her up and just hangs her over the top rope. Natalia able to avoid 
and I think that's going to be the name of the game. Oh. You want to try to outlast your opponents, because if you're down and hurt on the outside of the ring, you can't make a pinfall. You can't win the match. That's right. And speaking of winning the match, just to reiterate, these are AI simulated matches. We are not playing the game. Uh, we just make the card up and let the computer give us what it will. Let the AI uh, do what the AI does. <laughs> Famous last words. As Victoria clears the ring, but follows Beth out on the outside. Well, Victoria is not shy about taking the with? fight directly to Beth Phoenix. These two have barely crossed paths thus far in our universe. And Beth was Victoria's selection to face Melina a few weeks ago, like he had said. So very interesting that they are going right at one another. Big headbutt from Beth. Victoria powders out of the ring, and now Natty taking it to the Glamazon Beth Phoenix. The Divas of Doom, of course, have a history together. Here we no! go, German suplex. Huge German suplex. Natty is all business here. She came She's up short chasing the women's title. She came up short chasing the Divas title. And she's not going to let that no, happen again. Victoria cuts her down. Was able to nearly behead the Queen of Hearts. There we go. Beth Phoenix. Oh, she's got her up. A huge Big body slam. power slam. Whoa, Victoria. Ripcord Lariat. Good God, followed that That's German it. suplex up. No, Beth says, not yet. I'm not done. That could have been enough, though, I think. That could have definitely ended this match. Natty flipped. She did like a front flip. Here we go, working together for a double DDT on Beth. And then right at each other. Taking the biggest threat out. And there's Natty with another double underhook suplex. Dragging Victoria closer towards the center, away from those ropes. Uh oh! Hold on, Victoria. She was playing quick. awesome. One. Oh man, that would have been something. That would have been something. What a way that could have ended. Natty says not yet, and Victoria feeds her her knee for her trouble, and takes the fight right to Beth Phoenix. No. Oh. <laughs> the former Divas champion. Oh, using that knee Natty. brace. Wheelbarrow oh, Victoria face is able buster. to shove her off. Beth being smart, just hanging on the outside, not getting involved until one of them is down. Natty takes Beth Phoenix down. Natty's been focusing on Beth's legs the whole match. So she really wants to just be able to lock in that sharpshooter and call it. Exactly. Natty has strategized and set her sights on the target. Uh-oh. Oh, Natty, dirty pin attempt. It doesn't matter. There's no disqualifications. That's right. Definitely not Mike Chioda saw it but still had to cover because it is a triple threat and it's being under triple threat rules and again the teamwork and the cohesion between victoria and natalia and then they do this kind of stuff look natty getting her base she's doing that stalling suplex with the with the squats that's impressive. The insane core strength of Natalia Neidhart on display. Oh, she was but wait, Beth Phoenix caught her with a spine buster. Looked like she was going for Natty by nature, but Beth slipped right underneath it. And a widow's peak, but Natty's there to break the pin up. Uh oh. No way. Sharpshooter blocked in. Turns it over. Right in the center of the ring will Victoria tap out. That's not the knee she's been working on. 
Nowhere to go. She's in trouble. And Beth is out. Well, right to her feet just as the pin happens. Crazy how that works in the game, isn't it? <laughs> I know you've played a triple threat match before in this shit. It's really fucking aggravating. <laughs> Oh my well, god! Beth Phoenix! She's got that torture rack locked in! Oh my god. Now Victoria's taken two straight submission holds and her back can't hold up. That's it, right? No! She, she couldn't stayed get alive. her to tap out. She couldn't get her to quit. But Beth's There's setting no up for something else. No quit in the former Divas champion. But here she goes. Look, she stepped on Beth's foot. Countered the glam slam. Oh, oh, Natty. But Natty dumps Victoria on the back of her head. Big Russian what? leg sweep. Quick, cover, quick shoulders cover down. Natty, smart one, two, no. Beth Phoenix kicks out. Oh, there's Victoria now. Fire it up. Northern oh, Lights nice. suplex. Whoa. Got a little overzealous there. Tried to hit <laughs> not Mike Kyoto. I saw it definitely not Mike Kyoto. Almost caught a fucking stray. <laughs> well, Beth is able to counter into an arm drag. Goes. And here we go. One, Shoulders down. Two. Victoria's yelling. Oh my god. Oh! Hot no. between a rock and a hard place. This is broken down. Victoria and Natty vacillate between working together and beating the shit out of each other. <laughs> Amazing stuff here on SmackDown on Friday nights. And look, Beth Phoenix is like up again to break up the pin. And again, drops Victoria to the mat. And now it's down to oh, Beth and Natty. No. Natty just like placed herself in the corner. <laughs> That's the second time she did that. Yeah. Again, we're not playing this. Yeah. I don't know if you scrubbed ahead and you skipped it before. It's weird that the AI wants her to do that. Interesting stuff. Let's see. Beth gets Natty up. Oh! oh drops her with a huge suplex. No, but Natty says no. Now Beth reverses. Victoria look back in the ring. Wait a second. Look now at this Beth's stalling gonna do suplex. it. Oh my god. The strength of Beth Phoenix on display here in New Mexico. One armed. Now which one of those is more impressive? Is it the squat one or is it that one? No! Widow's Peak! I think it's the Widow's Peak! Cover! One, two! Oh! <laughs> Beth Phoenix kicks out yet again. Victoria that was it. incensed. That was it. That was the match. There's no way Victoria wins this now. That was a golden shot. Oh, now she's going to do it to Victoria. After a widow's peak. That's just insult to injury. Look at this. Beth Phoenix. Powerhouse I, of the I Divas Division. I think the squatting division. one's more difficult. Yeah. Yeah. Takes way more core strength. Natty finally back in and BAM! Right to Beth's jaw. And a kick to the knee. Right to the patella. Oh! Oh, but Victoria countered. Okay. Natty building some momentum. She's got to stay on top. There it is! The Natty by nature! Quick! Cover! Oh my god. She wants to make her tap. Natty double legs her. Oh. Spins her oh, over. Oh, that's so frustrating. Shooter. Oh my god. Beth obviously in the way to break it up, but now she's going to go for an ill advised pin attempt. One. One wait a minute. Two. two wait a minute. No! Three. She did it. And Beth wasn't even paying attention. Beth distracted by her own hubris. And Natty taking home the victory. Wait, was there collusion there between Natty oh, and Beth? Maybe. But we've got no time. We've got no time to hang out. 
It's the next match in the Tag Team Invitational. And ladies Sabu. and gentlemen, it's the homicidal. It's the suicidal. It's the death defying Sabu. You said this is part of the, the Tag Team Invitational? Yeah. Where's his, where's his partner? Well, clearly we're going to get to find out. But Sabu going it alone in the Tag Team Invitational on SmackDown. Well, Sabu uh, is a guy who likes to march to the beat of his own drum, okay? Sabu doesn't like to normally play nice with others, but clearly he's found himself a partner, and they are going to uh, take the fight and try and win a shot at those tag team championships held by the Hart Dynasty. I mean, you said Invitational. Looks like you spread the net far. Let's see who Sabu's tag partner is. Sabu, of course, a member of the SmackDown roster. I did draft him. What? Well, you know, you know, someone is about to get busted open. The innovator of violence, Tommy Dreamer, joining Sabu. I guess we could call them the ECW originals. Yeah, the ECW originals have officially joined the SmackDown tag team division. And tonight... They set their sights on taking on New Money, Inc. But the question is, which team will they be facing tonight? Tommy's yoked in this game, man. It's a real tight t-shirt. <laughs> yeah, it is. Wait a second. What? What? Can they do that, JR? It's time, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to introduce you all to the newest members of the SmackDown roster. What? CM Punk and his faithful follower, Luke Gallows. They are the Straight Edge Society. Oh my god obviously we've been seeing a lot of new superstars pop up on raw so there's been some trades happening and cm punk has been shipped from monday night raw to friday night smackdown but i didn't anticipate this he's picked up a follower along the way in luke gallows yes he did CM Punk, of course, uh, he had planned on winning the Royal Rumble match. Things didn't work out. So now we're on plan B, which is the tag team division on SmackDown. Interesting stuff. And then to go against the ECW originals at that. This is something else. This is a brand new, this is a fresh matchup on Friday Night SmackDown. Never before seen. The Tag Team Invitational says it all. I should have known. Only one of these two teams are going to get to go on to face New Money, Inc. next week. And Punk and Sabu starting it off here. Both of them. <laughs> <laughs> Going for high spots and missing, popping this crowd here in New Mexico. But Sabu in charge as he tags in Tommy Dreamer. That was a great little indie spot that they did. <laughs> Dreamer obviously oh, goes for a cover quick. One. Thought maybe he had Punk knocked out there. Dreamer used to be a member of the Monday Night Raw roster. But I believe you picked him up as a free agent. He's not part of any trade deal or anything. Correct, Look at this. Correct. 
his contract lapsed, and I was able to sign Tommy uh, to a a long term deal. It's wonderful for SmackDown. It's 2009 after all. Uh oh. And here Tri- we go. Look Punk at this. With a double oh. underhook backbreaker. And here we go. Our first look at Luke Gallows in our 2008 universe. Big splash. Uh. I, I believe he's the former Festus. Oh. Of course, we all know uh, the effect of drugs and alcohol, what Tommy. it does to a person. Well, I don't know about you, but biscuits and gravy made me a man. Yeah, and CM Punk clearly, clearly helping Luke Gallows uh, oh. exercise his demons. Dreamer tagging out, bringing Sabu back in. Let's see what. Oh, straight right hand right to the mush. Sabu. Drop kick to the outside. And normally, this is the part in the match where Sabu does something crazy, but looks like he's tagging out to Tommy Dreamer. And Dreamer's going to pursue him on the outside. Trying to follow the rules. Maybe it's a new Sabu. Dreamer re- collecting himself comes back in and Gallows just pops him right in the face. And Luke Gallows lifts him up. Oh, mm. and drops him with a backbreaker. Gallows in charge now. Look at this. Oh. Slamming him down. Pancaking Tommy Dreamer on the mat. CM Punk back in the ring. Huge springboard moonsault. Here we go. Shoots the half. Cover. One. One, Two. two. No. Tommy Dreamer kicks out. Not going to be that easy for Punk to beat an ECW original like Dreamer. Oh, elbow drop. Shades of the Macho Man. Punk drops him. You're a Nagi. Device locked in. Here comes Sabu to break the hold, but he missed. He missed. He missed again. He knew Dreamer could do it himself. <laughs> he didn't want to rob him of that. Yeah, Dreamer. Snake eyes in the corner. And now. Continues the onslaught, gets him up. Oh, the sack of shit! Fall away slam. Good night, Cover. CM Punk. Definitely not my Kyoto gets over there, but it's only a one count. CM Punk embrawled in a big rivalry with Jeff Hardy over on Raw. Jeff, of yeah. course, coming to SmackDown and uh, losing last week in the tag team invitational match that's right wait a minute oh Oh, gts sleep dreamers out one two gallows clears the corner that's it cm punk and luke gallows have come to smackdown and they have immediately put themselves in the tag team championship conversation what a victory right out of the gate next week we will see it straight edge society takes on new money inc the winners will face the reigning wwe tag team champions the heart dynasty well up next We have a special singles bout for you. And Mr. Kennedy makes his way out to the ring. Kennedy, of course, uh, had some issues with Matt Hardy several weeks back. But uh, Kennedy's here after the Rumble. He's set his sights on championship gold and wants a big moment at Wrestlemania I mean so does everybody on this damn roster (laughs) 
We're trying. Oh, wait a minute. But his opponent... Yeah! The animal. Batista. There he is. Now, now here's a guy that's had a little bit of trouble finding his footing in 2008 Universe Mode. He had that team with Lashley for a while. Just waiting for the pyro to finish. Yeah, uh, he had that team with Lashley for a while, but unfortunately, like most people, as we've seen in the last, can't take out the Hart Dynasty. It's just like impossible at this point. So Batista getting some singles action against Kennedy here. Kind of like a uh, finding where they are in the pecking order situation here on SmackDown. Exactly. Kennedy's no slouch, though. He's got some big wins in our 2008 universe, whereas Batista has faltered yeah. quite a bit. Yeah, Batista's still looking for that uh, that signature uh, moment, that signature feud, that signature anything for this year. Otherwise, it'll be a complete wash. Maybe Batista should have signed with Raw. <laughs> Maybe the competition on SmackDown is just too much for Big Dave. I mean, not to pull the curtain back too much, but there were extensive trade negotiations, and Monday Night Raw tried like hell to get Batista, but it was not happening. It's true. Uh, well... And how could you not look at him? He's the animal. He is the animal. He is the animal. I love me some Batista, and tonight, him and Kennedy get to go one-on-one -on -one with one another, and we're going to see how it shakes out. We'll see. Here we go. The bell has rung. We got a tie up right out the gate. Big headbutt from Kennedy. I don't think Big Batista Dave. was ready for that. Big Dave's selling already for Mr. Kennedy. That's good. That's a good sign. Of course, these two had a, a fun little program back in 2006 when Mr. Kennedy yeah. debuted on SmackDown. He's been Team Blue ever since. Just to go back to my last point, Team Raw was not asking for Mr. Ken. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! Looks like he got a piece of it there. <laughs> he didn't get all of it. But Batista counters with a dragon screw, and now the animal is looking to build some momentum. The worst thing you could do in a match against Batista is allow him to get his vertical base. As you see here, he's just too strong. Oh, the power three short arm close What is he doing? Line. No man's land for Batista. And Kennedy says that was dumb. That was dumb, Dave. I don't know what you were doing there. <laughs> oh, Kennedy with a nice combo. Oh, Dave, Batista counters out. into a huge DDT. The animal back up on his feet. Looking to take control of this match. Batista bomb? Could we Gets see it? Up. No, just a regular power bomb. But into a cover, no less. One. Not enough. Next time, go down and it, it'll, it'll, it'll end it for him. <laughs> no, a second power bomb? What? A second one. <laughs> this time, he's daring Kennedy to get back up. Wait a no second. Way. He didn't even have to get back up. That's three power bombs. That's insane. Three in a row. Oh, what a sequence. But Kennedy's trying matter, like hell to Kennedy fight back. Right back in his face. Stuck in the corner. Oh. And Batista's just got him right where he wants him. That's a bad spot to be in with Batista also locked in the corner. Yikes. One, two. Kennedy gets the shoulder up. The loudmouth says no. Batista's trying to break his shoulder now. You're not going to kick out of this one. <laughs> Batista gets him up. Kennedy's lucky that they're not... They, they didn't used to be friends. Because Batista would be kicking the shit out of him right now. 
He only kicks the shit out of people that used to be his friends. <laughs> One, two. No dice. Kennedy trying to rationalize what he needs to do. Going up to the top rope. Here we go. Looking Kenton bomb. There it is. Is it enough? Cover. He's going to beat Batista. One, One two, two, three. No. No. I spoke too soon. I think that was a bit of a slow count there. I don't know. We might have to check the instant replay. Definitely not. Mike Kyoto was right on top of it. He said it was two. Batista just got up in the nick of time. Kennedy beats Batista down. You said trying to keep him off that vertical base, but did not work out. Batista now gets him he's up. Just, Fireman's carry. He's just too damn strong. He's calling for the end of it here. And we know just, Batista has, not yet in this universe, but Batista will eventually go on to have some MMA background. <laughs> Getting back into the action here. Oh. Manhattan drop from Kennedy. Oh, and a oh, big man. exploder suplex. Oh, man. Takes this Batista look good down. For Batista. Big elbow drop. Kennedy staying on top. Kennedy could end it here, but no, Batista cuts him off. Batista. Uh oh. Here we this go. This is it. Batista bomb incoming. Boom! A fourth power bomb in this match. That's got to be That's it. That's it. One, One, two, two three. three. Huge win for Batista. Stick a fork in Kennedy. He's done. And give credit to Kennedy where credit's due. He almost beat Batista with that Kenton bomb, but Batista got that shoulder up. Of course, the referee used his discretion, and now the animal picks up a much needed victory. But before this main event gets underway, I'm being told we have the WWE Champion standing by for some comments. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome my guest at this time, WWE Champion, the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels. Shawn. How confident are you heading into your match against the Big Show at the SmackDown exclusive pay-per-view Judgment Day? Well, Jerry, I'm extremely confident about next week because I am wearing the new HBK t-shirt available right now on wweshop.com backslash royally rumble. Although, as far as the Big Show is concerned, I'm not taking him lightly. Let's be honest, there's nothing light about that big bastard. I'll be watching his match with RVD tonight very closely, just like I'm sure he's been watching me. Big Show and I, we're not strangers. He's gotten victories over me in the past. Hell, he beat me in King of the Ring. But I'm focused on the future. I'm focused on WrestleMania. And when the dust settles at Judgment Day, Mr. WrestleMania will be the one walking into the show of shows still your WWE Champion. But we've got the main event right now, and that is the Big Show versus Rob Van Dam in a no-holds-barred match. Well, it's the number one contender for the WWE Championship, the Big Show. Ain't no BS about it. Of course, created by our boy. What's the status? So shout out status. He is the number one contender. He traded in that King of the Ring championship, uh, which guaranteed him a title opportunity of his choosing. And he waited all this time until SmackDown had their solo pay-per-view judgment day. Uh, and now he will go one-on-one. -on -one with the WWE Champion. That's right. At Judgment Day, we're getting the Heartbreak Kid versus the Big Show. Last week, however, 
the Heartbreak Kid went one-on-one -on -one with this man, the whole effing show, Rob Van Dam. It wasn't necessarily Van Dam's best performance. Well, he's just getting acclimated to SmackDown again because he's fresh off of returning at our Royal Rumble, which you could go back and watch. It was just a few episodes ago. It was a great, uh, it, was a, it was a great event. Absolutely. Now Van Dam is here on Friday nights, and he's looking to silence the naysayers, such as Rob the Big Show. Van Dam. Sorry, I'm a Big Show, of course, commenting on uh, Twitter about Van Dam losing to Michael so quickly last week, uh, to which Van Dam challenged Big Show to a match, to which Big Show accepted, and I decided to make it a no-holds-barred match. I like that. I like that. Keeping it open for him. Let him do anything. Maybe we'll get a Van Daminator, but here we go. The bell is rung, and... Big Show's too big, and he's showing him all about it. Oh! But those big kicks from RVD find the mark. It doesn't matter how tall you are, you still fall the same way. I mean, and it's great for Van Dam. He's got to be comfortable in this match. Big Show's a gigantic target. It's almost impossible to miss him. You can throw your body at him, and you will land in his vicinity. So. <laughs> big Show. Ugh. Throwing those big punches, punches into the gut of RVD. There we go. Boom. And Dam's got him in the corner. Sends him out. Oh, Whoa. springboard. Sunset one. flip. Only a one that count. Was fun. Springboard moonsault. Van Dam staying on the attack using his body as a weapon but Big Show rolls out of the way elbow to the back of the head and the number one contender to the Fired WWE up. Championship is in control oh my god that's it one no and Dam gets right out of that a powerful kick out from RVD dropping Big Show with some clotheslines Comeback sequence complete. One, two. Oh. Almost got a win over the big show there. I mean, this man was our king of the ring, and here comes Rolling Thunder. It's got to be able to put him away. Are we going to get a five-star frog splash? Here it is. Connects. That's it. One, two. No. Big show kicking out. That should have been it, but it's going to take a lot more than that just to put away the world's largest athlete. These guys are more concerned about whether the people of Alamogordo, New Mexico love them or not. Big show. Oh. Maintains control now. He's just mad. At a certain point, Van Dam's got to feel like he's in there with a with a literal bear. <laughs> but Van Dam keeps the fight going. Here we go, shoulders down after that springboard moonsault. But not enough to get the job done. Van Dam's been giving him everything he's got. But Big Show keeps getting the shoulders up. It's really hard to wear him down. Big Show gets him up. Oh, man. Oh, and sends him falling almost seven feet in the air down onto that top rope. Oh, no. I was going to say that was like a guillotine, but that's more like a guillotine. Dropping the leg. One, two. No! Van Dam stays alive! RVD kicking out of the Big Show's final cut. Oh, oh there it is. There's a WMD. That's it. They're not in Iraq. They're in Alamogordo, New Mexico, because Van Dam is... Oh, no! He's still alive. And Big Show's mad. I can't believe it. 
all of the ECW originals here on Friday Night SmackDown and Van Damme against the number one contender for the WWE Championship with another Rolling Thunder. Van Damme, gotta do something. Covers Big Show. One, one two, two, no. Oh. Big Show gets the shoulder Frog up. splash quick while he's down. RVD gets to the top. Will we see it again? Five star frog splash. One, One two, two, three. three. No. no, again. Again, what is it gonna take? the Big Show kicks out. Oh my God. Split leg moonsault from Van Dam. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, maybe it'll take. He would take some submission moves to knock him out or something. Like, this is crazy. He's really trying to choke out the Big Show, uh -oh. but Big Show's oh. back up and just takes Van Dam down, levels him. And now he's pissed. Big Show just oh my clubbing God. the back. This has got to be it. Spear! Cover! One, two... Three. Wow. What a match. The Big Show picks up a huge win over Rob Van Dam. What a spear. Dude, cut Van Dam in half. He wasn't even expecting it. No BS about it, man. Big Show is ready for Shawn Michaels at Judgment Day. That's right, they face off in the finals of the King of the Ring tournament, and they will face off once again in the main event of Judgment Day, just two episodes away. But, Robert, you've got a solo pay-per-view next? There will be no apologies at Unforgiven this Sunday. We've got Randy Orton taking on the World Heavyweight Champion Triple H in a no-holds-barred match, just like we saw here on Friday Night SmackDown. That's our main event. The rest of the card is stacked. Make sure you're subscribed so you never miss an episode because your boys at Royally Rumbled want to get this show going, yeah. uh, but it's a little irregular, so... Yeah, it's the easiest way to make sure you don't miss an episode, but you can also follow us on Instagram at Royally Rumbled, and we post all of our updates there, dropping new episodes, clips from the episodes, so you can hear us in little snippets here and there as we do our commentary, but also we do our power rankings. That's right, and we saw the playing field shift a little bit in the last set of power rankings, yeah. but that means we're gonna need a whole new set so stay tuned for our very next episode because it's unforgiven and then a week after that it's judgment day so we got yeah. plenty of content planned for you beautiful people but if you'd like to follow us individually i robert can be found on instagram at yesball and you can find me jordan on instagram at jl24 fps so thank you so much for watching we will see you on the very next episode, Unforgiven.